government, we have always believed that partnerships with the private sector will go a long way towards improving the health status of our people. The U.S. ambassador to South Africa took a trip down memory lane. He says Masa Sulu's activism sprouted from her concern about child health care. Madiba, too, he noted, embraced this vision. For me, uh, the, the children's hospital uh, that's going to be built here is a continuation uh, uh, and, a, and an extension of that suitcase that Masa Sulu uh, carried on her head to make certain that every single child uh, had proper access. Exactly 15 years ago, on this day, on the 5th of February in 1999, our then President Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, South Africa is in a momentous process of change, blazing a trail towards a secure future. The time is yet to come for farewells, as many of us, by choice or circumstance, will not return. However, there is no time to pause. The long walk is not yet over. The price of a better life has yet to be won. Coincidentally, today also marks exactly two months after our beloved Madiba bade us farewell. A proud moment for the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. We don't know where the next Mandela is, so you're helping us to give every child an opportunity and a chance and give ourselves a chance of finding or being able to, to, to support the next Mandela. <laughs> The hospital will be built next to Vitz University in Johannesburg. 